In this tutorial, I'm going to share some tips to help you have a successful recording session with Camtasia. These tips should save you a lot of time editing down the road and give you a much better quality video in the end. First tip, clean up your computer. Unless you'll be recording a full screen application or a presentation that hides everything else, make sure what your viewers see on your computer desktop isn't distracting. Try closing any applications you're not using. Also, move the icons off of your desktop. If you have two monitors, it makes it really easy to just drag them to the monitor that you won't be recording. Or put them in a temporary folder somewhere else. You can always move them back later. Finally, if your background is too colorful or consists of family pictures or funny comics, consider changing it to something a little less distracting. The next tip pertains to planning and involves either writing out a script or preparing a detailed outline. A script helps you organize everything you want to include in your video and make sure that your language is exact and concise. Some people just have a gift and can press record and start talking to create a great video. For me, not so much. I tend to create longer videos, say um a lot more, and jump around to different topics instead of staying focused on the main goals of the video tutorial. Part of writing the script or outline involves doing a practice run through of your recording. This is very helpful so that you can make sure that your video flows well and you aren't surprised if something unexpected happens during the real recording. To see an example script, please download the sample below and use it with this Getting Started series. The final tip in this tutorial is about audio quality. Use a decent USB microphone in a quiet setting. Whether it's a headset or desktop microphone, USB is the way to go and is going to give you better sounding audio. Also, be aware of your surroundings and stay clear of the noisy heat vent, doors opening and closing, and other noises that may get picked up by your microphone. I'm sure we could come up with more tips to share, but I think the three we've covered are a great start. Now you should be ready to record your screen, which happens to be the next video in this series.